Hey, Vasanti here. In this video, we'll look up hidden ability and not hidden ability Electrovire. I had a problem pronouncing, but. <laughs> Alright, so let's talk about the abilities. Let's start with Electabuzz. Electabuzz has static, so when Pokemon touch it, uh, it have a chance to be paralyzed by like 30%. That's the regular ability, and then the hidden ability is Vital Spirit. It can't fall asleep. Then we got Electrovire. Which is motor drive, so when it takes electric attack, it raises its speed instead of taking damage. Alright, so if you want the regular non-hidden ability, the Zen 164, which is the red beam. And if you want the hidden ability guaranteed, uh, you go to 165, which is the purple beam of the Zen. So the chances are for Electabuzz, I guess we can start with that. Uh, 3 star is 25%, 4 star is 25%. Well, then um, we have another node, which is, I believe, 15% for 5-star, and then Electrovire, 15% for 5-star. And this is a red beam, which is the not guaranteed hidden ability, but has a chance to hit an ability, but also a chance to get the regular ability. Then we have 165, which I believe have two nodes of Electrovire, which is 15% for 4-star and 20% for 5-star, and then another 20% for 5-star. I believe Electabuzz also spawn here at 3% for 20 no, 3 star, 25%, and then 4 star, 25% as well. So we're going to go to that den right now. I'm going to go for the hidden ability. going to teleport to the town that you kind of start. I mean, the building, the waypoint, and freezing ton. And then we just, instead of using, you know, using, go down there. We're going to go across, go to this side, down and exit. Here, and then the den is right there. Be careful. Um, so since I want a purple beam, we're going to save in front of it. You want red beam, just throw it in. There's a chance that there could be like an event happening, so just be careful for red beam. So we're going to hit, we're going to talk to the end, right? And then once you hit yes on the save button, you're going to hit the And then if it red like so, and if it, then you restart the game and you keep going. If it's a purple beam, it'll lag a little bit, so you kind of know. And then you would just go in. Um, but then if you yeah, have the red beam, you restart the game, you do it again, you keep doing it until you get a purple beam. Alright, so we got a purple beam, it finally lagged a little bit of like, I think like 8, 8 or 9 resets. Uh, and we do have Electabuzz here, but we're gonna do a time skip trick in case it's not what you're looking for. We're gonna click invite others, right? Make sure you click on that and make sure you're offline. So spam big room. We're gonna go to system settings, so system, date time. Time skip trick, if you have this on, turn it off and increase your date by one day and back into the game. Quit. I will reset the den, you know it will be glowing again, right? You get your watts again, you can farm watts like this. It's a pimper chin, it's not what we're looking for, right? So I'll, you keep doing this until you get the one that you want and we'll, we'll start the battle. All right, I finally respawned an Electabuzz. Usually I go for hidden abilities because of Few things that I could just have to hit an ability. Also, if I want the regular one, I'll just breathe. I go through castle again. But um, you can go for either or because it's guaranteed hidden ability. I bring a Garnivore with Trace just so I can show you that has Vital Spirit. All right, so the purple for all the pretty much all the DLC Pokemon I have to hit him. Gonna Dynamax and just hit it with like a Fairy or Psychic move. Yes. But unfortunately, you do need an item to evolve it from Electabuzz to Electrovire, so one thing to keep note of. So if you really want one, uh, you can just get one from a raid. Then if you want like perfect stats, then you're gonna... But there is a route where you can get the, the evolution item. I actually don't know it on top of my head or anything, but you can probably goof that real quick. Damn, I'm wrecking. But, I do stream on Twitch. So, if you do need any kind of redo a Pokemon that's like not shiny, <laughs> but if you need a hidden ability or whatever, I can probably just redo one. Just come over to stream, redeem it. Um, and I'll just breed it right there. As long as my Switch is not being occupied. 
But I've been streaming a lot of Genshin, so uh, if you also play Genshin Impact, uh, down below, All right? You need help. I'm like AR 43 right now. I'm almost 44. Hopefully, I can get to 45 before the end of the week, but. Uh, I also recently got Ring Fit. I also do that too. Breaking them shields and hopefully someone will attack and then instantly win. Oh god, hopefully you have like a... No, Torko, I need you to attack. Oh. I'll have another turn, please. Please. Counter? Why would you counter against a special attacker? Oh my freaking god. The max layer NPC is somehow way better than the regular raid NPCs. But since I am host, I am guaranteed um, a luxury ball, I guess. But yeah, section. Check out my socials down below, and uh, yeah, follow me on all my socials and post. I'm guaranteed catch. I don't know if you need to see this, but thanks for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Like, comment, subscribe, blah, yada, yada. And with that, later days.